When we took this on, we knew it was a massive undertaking. It's the biggest launch in the history of the company. One of the primary ethoses that we follow is form follows function, but both report to emotion. You have to really look at every element of the motorcycle and execute it in a way that speaks to our ethos, which is authenticity, 115 years now of legacy. It was exciting and a little scary, designing brand new product and bringing in the latest technology and the features, but we need to retain the, the lineage, the DNA, the styling cues, and keeping what makes a Harley a Harley. We wanted to bake in the soul of a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, and we talked to customers around the world and kind of picked their brains about what they'd like to see from the next generation cruiser from Harley-Davidson. They want tradition but they also want technology. They wanted to experience the best of both worlds, and that's what these motorcycles deliver. So there's eight models in the lineup. Each model has a defined personality, if you will. It's about fit, and it's about attitude, and they each have their own unique feel, and it will be different for each customer. They'll find the bike that they'll fall in love with. These are game-changing motorcycles. Everything about these motorcycles is an improvement over what our current bikes are. People's minds are blown. The Milwaukee 8 is our first four-valve big twin powertrain. It is the best V-twin we've ever made. We did some benchmark testing against our current twin cam uh, high output 103. That Milwaukee 8 rider is going to be three bike lengths ahead of the twin cam rider from 0 to 60. From 60 to 80, you gain another bike length. That's a substantial difference in terms of acceleration and power. So let's talk about the soft tail frame. Our very first motorcycles were rigid, so the rear wheel was actually rigidly mounted to the frame. They had a really beautiful aesthetic. There's a line that goes from the front of the motorcycle all the way to the rear axle. With the soft tail, we're trying to emulate that whole aesthetic. We're trying to make the motorcycle look like it's a rigid, but it actually does function amazingly well because there is suspension that's tucked under there now. When they see them for the first time, they'll appreciate the style, but when they experience the goodness of a lightweight, awesome handling soft tail chassis, I can't wait for people to ride them. One of the things we've achieved, I think, is a perfect balance of the best of soft tails and the best of dynas. That classic hardtail look, that hidden suspension, right? But we've also brought in the best handling. We've married the look and the performance into one architecture that will serve all the customer needs. Most bikes have lost in the range of 30 pounds. The bikes feel lighter, they're easier to move around in your garage, more nimble, more flickable when you're on the road. These are the best cruiser bikes that Harley's ever built. It's amazing, absolutely amazing, the work that's been done and what we've achieved, because the bikes are beautiful, they're executed just in such a premium way. And then they just ride, they ride amazingly well.